How to backup a PostgreSQL database with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Ansible backup of a PostgreSQL database. Let's talk about the Ansible module PostgreSQL underscore DB. The full name is community.postgresql.postgresql underscore db, which means that is part of a collection of module community.postgresql maintained by the Ansible community to interact with PostgreSQL. The collection is tested with Ansible Core version 2.11 plus, prior versions such as 2.9 or 2.10 are not supported. The purpose of the module is to add or remove the PostgreSQL database from the remote host as well also to maintain the backup and restore operation. Parameters. Let me summarize the main parameter of the module PostgreSQL underscore DB. Ansible suppose that the PostgreSQL is in the target node. The only required parameter is name, the name of the database to interact with. The parameter state specifies the desired state or the operation for the selected database. Option present means that the database should be created and option absent means uh, deleted. Other useful operations are dump and restore, which use pg underscore dump underneath the embedded PostgreSQL utility to backup and restore to the target file. Another useful operation is rename from name to target, so you need also to specify target parameter with a name, file name on the remote host. Please note that this module uses PsychoPG2, a Python Postgres database library. You must ensure that Python 3-PsychoPG2 is installed in the host before using this module. And now, demo time! Let's jump into real-life Ansible playbook to backup a PostgreSQL database. I'm going to show you how to backup the testDB database in uh, a directory, for example, slash backups folder in the current PostgreSQL server. Are you excited? Let's move it on. Welcome to my editor. Let me show you one Ansible playbook to backup a Postgres database. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with three dash and a name for a play, PostgreSQL demo. That is going to be executed on host all of my inventory and uh, I need also root privilege, so let me set become to true. On the, let me define some custom variable. First is db underscore name. This is the name of the database to backup, as well as the directory where to save a backup output file. Backup underscore dir, in my case, under slash backups. Okay, now I'm taking care of everything. Uh, the backup dir uh, must be present on the target uh, node uh, file system. First of all, let's verify together that the utility, the Python utility, is currently installed on the target system. So, the uh, name of the task will be utility present using ansible.builtin.package. Let me define the name of the Python library. It will be Python 3 uh, psycho pg2 yeah it's quite complicated and the state must be present on the target system another task will be to verify that the backup directory exists and if not ansible is going to take care of the creation process so using ansible.builtin.file uh, let's define together the file system path that will be the value of uh, backup dir. Here we go. 
and uh, what else we need to specify the owner oh as well uh, first of all the mode let me find 0777 so reading writing and uh, direct permission to enter for all the users of the system the owner will be postgres the database system uh, um, user as well as state must be directory so directory for, on the file system now finally we could execute the backup of database using community.postgresql.postgresql underscore db we are going to execute the operation of dump using the pg underscore dump utility uh, the database name will be the value of db name as well also let me define also the output file name this output will be on the target node file system so let's define together target parameter and will be the value of backup underscore dear uh, slash db name uh, let's suppose that we want uh, a compressed backup so let's add dot gzip extension in this way will be automatically compressed backup uh, we need to execute this as a postgres database user so let's use become to true and let's define together become underscore user postgres okay in this way we are able to uh, create a backup directory and execute a backup of a db name Using variable is very flexible, so just in case you want to change a backup directory or db name, we'll, you can do on the code or using extra variable, as uh, already discussed in another lesson. So let's have a fun, let's move on to the terminal. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my Postgres demo machine using ssh devops at demoexample.com this machine is freshly installed with a postgres server running so let me switch to root user and verify the backup directory slash backups using ls from command line that doesn't exist so cool what about uh, the source database well, let me connect uh, to Postgres user. This is the database uh, super user. So let me switch to Postgres and use PSQL command line to interact to test DB. This database has only one table called example using the backslash DT. We have uh, a full schema of the database. And we could uh, see that inside this table, there is a uh, uh, so there is some data so let me use a select star from example and we have okay cool one message that is called ansible manager yes great so we have uh, one table with some data inside this is a simple example you could complicate as much as you want but the principle will be always the same so let me disconnect from the psql utility uh, root user and disconnect from the machine now let's run together the Ansible playbook on the Ansible controller. So first of all, uh, we need uh, one parameter, the inventory, as well also the Ansible playbook uh, file. The execution will be relatively fast. This table is uh, very, very small. Just the time to create the backup directory and execute uh, the dump. Well, we got the two changes status, which means some operation were performed on the target machine. What happened if we execute again the same code? Well, Ansible is going to backup again the same table. And just because we wrote the same file name, the file will be overwritten. So pay attention to this. Let's verify together the result of this operation so let me connect uh, to my target machine via ssh devops username at demoexample.com let me switch to a root user now we could list together the content of backups directory cool it exists and there is a testdb.gzip 
file. So let's uh, list the type of file is a gzip compressed data. Yes, this is very convenient to store this type of file. So let me cut uh, Z cut because it's a gzip file. And as you can see, there is uh, the output of PostgreSQL database dump. On the first area, we can see the creation table as well also uh, setting the permission and also inserting all the data related uh, to this table. In this case, we can see Ansible managed uh, um, message inside the, inside the table that was exactly what was inside the Postgres database. Don't you think this is super cool? And you can execute this overnight to backup your wonderful Postgres SQL database. Yes, we automate one more thing with Ansible. Cool! Now you know how to automate the backup of PostgreSQL database with Ansible. Thank you for watching. I hope this lesson was useful for you and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!